What if a single fast moving vehicle could erase drones, helicopters, and low flying aircraft before they even reach the battlefield? What if an old armored carrier was transformed into a sky shredding monster? Today, we uncover the Israeli match bet, a weapon upgrade so unexpected, it shocked military analysts around the world. And trust me, what you're about to learn will change the way you see modern air defense forever. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most surprising air defense transformations of modern military history, the Israeli match bet. At first glance, it looks like a simple armored vehicle, something you might see rolling quietly on a battlefield. But beneath its rugged exterior hides a weapon system so aggressive, so fast, and so precise that it has left many experts asking the same question, how did Israel turn this humble chassis into a sky clearing beast? The shocking truth is that match bet wasn't just upgraded, it was reinvented. Israel took the aging M163 Vulcan platform and pushed it beyond anyone's expectations, combining rapid fire cannons with heat seeking missiles to create a hybrid that few armies ever imagined. In an era where drone swarms, low flying aircraft, and helicopter strikes dominate modern warfare, Matchbet became a sudden wild card a weapon capable of reacting faster than human reflexes and firing a storm of 20 Numia rounds powerful enough to erase threats instantly. Today, we'll break down how Israel achieved this transformation, why Matchbet shocked the world, and how this small system might be one of the smartest battlefield decisions ever made. When Israel first introduced the Matchbet, the global defense community was stunned because it didn't look like the usual high-tech, futuristic system that makes headlines. There were no massive radars, no new missile towers, no stealth coatings. Instead, Israel upgraded the reliable MN-1-13 armored carrier, a platform decades old, and turned it into something entirely new. The heart of the Matchbet's shock factor lies in its strategy. Instead of building a new vehicle from scratch, Israel enhanced what it already had by equipping the vehicle with the legendary 20mm MN61 Vulcan cannon capable of firing up to 3,000 rounds per minute. They created a weapon system that could shred drones and aircraft with overwhelming speed, but Israel didn't stop there. They upgraded the fire control systems, added electro-optical targeting, introduced better stabilization, and the biggest surprise, integrated 4 5 92 Stinger missiles. This hybrid approach made Matchbet capable of both close-range annihilation and medium-range precision. Suddenly, a simple tracked vehicle became a multi-layer air defense platform, leaving militaries worldwide stunned at how efficiently Israel reinvented battlefield air protection. To understand why Matchbet shocked the world, we must look at the threat landscape it was designed to counter. Modern warfare has shifted dramatically. Cheap drones, suicide UAVs, kamikaze quadcopters, and low-altitude aircraft have become a dominant force. Most armies respond with expensive systems like missile batteries, radars, and full-scale air defense networks. But Israel recognized something many overlooked, Sometimes the fastest threats require the fastest reaction, not the most expensive system. Matchbet became that answer. It doesn't need to wait for long targeting procedures. It doesn't require large operator teams. Its sensors track aim and fire in seconds. The Vulcan cannon delivers a wall of fire so dense that no small drone can survive it. While Stinger missiles give Matchbet the reach to hit aircraft at longer distances, Analysts were shocked because Matchbet solved multiple modern problems with one low-cost mobile solution. While other nations focused on advanced missiles, Israel created a system perfectly optimized for real battlefield chaos. Mobility, speed, and rapid fire became its identity, and militaries around the world took notice. At the core of Matchbet's reputation is the M61 Vulcan, a legendary six-barrel rotary cannon. Firing at a blazing 3,000 rounds per minute, it produces a stream of tungsten rounds that can destroy drones, shred helleborne threats, or disable aircraft 
with terrifying efficiency, but Israel's decision to combine this with a digital fire control upgrade was the real shock. Using advanced sensors, thermal cameras, and automatic tracking, MatchBet doesn't rely solely on the operator's reflexes. It can lock on to fast moving targets and keep the aim steady even when moving over rough terrain. This stability system was one of the biggest surprises for military observers. Traditionally, anti-aircraft guns require stationary firing positions. MatchBet breaks that rule. It moves tracks and fires all at once, combined with optimized ammunition types and better recoil management. The Vulcan cannon became more lethal than ever before. Many militaries abandoned gun-based AA systems in favor of missiles, but MatchBet proved that guns, when enhanced correctly, remain brutally effective in modern warfare. This revival of gun-based AA power rewrote expectations and forced other nations to rethink close-range air defense. The biggest twist in MatchBet's design was the integration of FIM-92 Stinger missiles, turning it from a close-range gun system into a multi-layer air defense platform. Before MatchBet, the M163 Vulcan was seen purely as a short-range gun vehicle. But with Stingers mounted on the turret, its capabilities expanded dramatically. These missiles brought MatchBet the ability to engage targets several kilometers away, including attack helicopters, slow aircraft, and even advanced drones. Suddenly, this small track platform could challenge threats previously outside its reach. The fire control system automatically calculates the optimal firing solution, and the operator can switch between gun mode and missile mode instantly. This shocked analysts because it blurred the line between gun vehicles and missile vehicles. MatchBet became both a dual threat system capable of reacting fast and striking far. Militaries around the world had assumed such hybrid systems were too complicated or too expensive. Israel proved them wrong. With minimal cost and maximum creativity, they created one of the most efficient anti-aircraft hybrids ever deployed. Mobility is a critical factor in modern warfare, and this is where MatchBet delivers another shock. Many air defense systems are heavy, slow, or fixed in one place. MatchBet is the opposite light fast and able to reposition instantly. Built on the M113 chassis, MatchBet can move with infantry, armor columns, or convoy units. It can appear where it's needed, disappear when the threat shifts, and redeploy long before large systems even warm up. This flexibility changes the battlefield. Instead of waiting for air, defense support from far away, ground units have a mobile, shield traveling with them. During urban operations, MatchBet can cover rooftops and alleyways where drones hide. In open terrain, it can track fast moving aircraft and respond at the perfect moment. This mobility shocked military planners because it showed how important it is to have air defense on the move, not just at fixed bases. Israel proved that a moving defense is always harder to target and far more effective in fast changing battle conditions. MatchBet's speed and agility made it a perfect fit for rapid response missions and a nightmare for enemy drone operators. MatchBet's advanced targeting systems were another element that caught global attention. Instead of relying on radar alone, the system uses a blend of electro, optical tracking, thermal imaging, laser range finding, and automatic threat detection. This multi-sensor approach gives MatchBet a powerful advantage. It can detect, track, and engage targets without exposing itself through radar emissions. In a world where radar guided systems can be jammed, tracked, or attacked by anti-radiation missiles, MatchBet's optical base tracking makes it extremely stealthy in its operations. Enemies can't easily detect it, which increases its survivability. The ability to lock onto small drones, even those made of plastic, shocked analysts because many advanced air defense systems struggle with such tiny signatures. 
Israel's engineers optimized match bets specifically for these low cost but deadly threats with auto tracking that adjusts for vehicle movement. MatchBet continues firing accurately even when bouncing across uneven terrain. This level of precision on a vehicle of this size was unexpected, proving that optical targeting combined with high speed guns can be just as effective, if not more, than traditional radar guided systems. MatchBet doesn't just serve as a defense platform, it also operates as a psychological weapon. Drone pilots hate facing it. Helicopter crews fear its extreme rate of fire, and infantry units feel safer just knowing it's nearby. Israel designed MatchBet to create a zone of denial, a region where enemy aircraft simply cannot operate without facing destruction. During training simulations, MatchBet consistently outperformed expectations, showing hit rates of far above traditional gun systems. This shocked international observers because it proved that modernizing an older platform could outperform many newer systems, costing millions. When nations saw MatchBet tear down simulated drone swarms, they realized that the world's air defense balance may be shifting. Instead of expensive missile-based systems, many countries began reconsidering the role of mobile gun-based vehicles. MatchBet became a model for low-cost, high-impact battlefield innovation. Its success highlighted that sometimes the smartest upgrades are not the most expensive, they are the most practical. With the rise of drone warfare worldwide, MatchBet suddenly became one of the most relevant vehicles of the decade. MatchBet's global impact goes beyond Israel's borders. Several nations studied the system, analyzed its components, and explored ways to integrate similar upgrades into their own militaries. The shock wasn't just about the vehicle's performance, it was about the cost efficiency for a fraction of what advanced air defense systems cost. MatchBet delivers incredible results. This challenged long held assumptions about modernization. Militaries realized they didn't always need new vehicles. They needed smarter vehicles. MatchBet's hybrid approach became a reference point for how to extend the life of older platforms while dramatically increasing their capability. Defense experts repeatedly highlighted MatchBet in reports discussing counter drone strategies, rapid deployment units, and mobile air defense tactics. Meanwhile, drone manufacturers began designing systems specifically to avoid MatchBet's detection patterns, a sign of its reputation on the battlefield. The lesson was clear MatchBet forced the global defense community to rethink air defense in the age of drones, and it opened the door for a new generation of low cost, high performance hybrid systems. In the end, the story of MatchBet is not just about a vehicle, it's about innovation, efficiency, and battlefield adaptation. Israel transformed an aging armored carrier into a shockingly powerful air defense machine. The world expected slow, heavy, expensive solutions to drone warfare. Instead, MatchBet delivered speed, affordability, and unmatched reaction time. Its combination of the M61 Vulcan cannon, Stinger missiles, advanced optical sensors, upgraded stabilization, and unmatched mobility turned it into a platform no one saw coming. It shocked analysts, impressed militaries, and set a new standard for low cost rapid air defense. But its real legacy lies in what it represents. Smart upgrades can outperform expensive new systems, and mobility is just as important as firepower. As drone warfare continues to evolve, MatchBet stands as proof that innovation doesn't always require a brand new design. Sometimes it requires reimagining what you already have. And that is why this system continues to shock the world today. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Israel's MatchBet system, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest military tech breakdowns. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Which system should we cover next?